In the meantime, the number of people murdered in Jamaica since the start of the year has surpassed 1,000. Jamila Maitland has the breakdown. 1,003. That's the number of homicides recorded in Jamaica as of August 29. It's 52 more lives taken when compared to the 951 for the similar period last year, and it represents a 5.5% increase in murders. According to the Jamaica Constabulary Force, 10 of the 19 police divisions are now seeing an upsurge in murders, shootings, and other major crimes. The St. James Police Division has so far recorded the highest number of murders, 134, followed by St. Catherine North with 99, Westmoreland with 97, St. Andrew South 88, and St. Catherine South 81. But even as firearm seizures continue to increase, the majority of crimes committed are gun-related. 741 persons have been shot and injured compared to the 765 recorded for the similar period in 2021. It's why Prime Minister Andrew Holness and other Caribbean leaders are calling on the international community to help strengthen border protection. The challenge, of course, is managing what I call enterprise crime, criminal gangs whose sole purpose is to uh, infiltrate state organizations, corrupt institutions, uh, and use that power that they gain to facilitate illegal trade, whether it is narcotics coming through the trade routes from South or Central America. And locally, it's why the private sector organization of Jamaica, PSOJ, called out both the government and the opposition to hold talks to address Jamaica's growing crime problem. We think the government of Jamaica and the opposition really need to sit down and work that through because this is what will deal with the, long, the short term containment of crime. And uh, th this has been outstanding for some time. And we believe that if there is a meeting of the mind, that there can be alignment around these short-term crime containment strategies. Investigators are also probing 263 cases of rape. Robberies are also up as well as break-ins. Jamila Maitland, TVJ News.